Hey guys, welcome back. Mark here, Running Wars. Uh, today, guys, I have an interesting message for you guys. <clears throat> an encouraging message that I have for you guys today. And um, I had a really interesting conversation with a good friend of mine. And we we're just talking about the, dis the way that the enemy is so sneaky. And folks, I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> um, the enemy in this in this time, but but throughout time, has been using deception as a major weapon against those in the body of Christ. And I, I say, even if you're not in the body of Christ, <laughs> deception has been a weapon that the enemy has used throughout time. And I'm going to tell you folks, we have to be very, very careful in a lot of the things that we see out here. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, the warfare that's going on out here is absolutely, um, um, I'll call it brutal. The spiritual warfare. We can't look at things through the natural. Um, you know, we have to get out of the natural, meaning, you know, out of just looking at everything through our five senses to understand what's actually going on. We have to look at it from a spiritual perspective. And I'm going to tell you folks, the enemy is, um, has been really working overtime to try to deceive many. <clears throat> you will only find the truth in one place. That's the word of the living God. This is the truth. There are not five truths. There are not ten truths. You know, what is it right now in this society, in this, not only in this country, but the world at large, that everyone is seeking after? It's the truth. They want to know the truth. And what's the one thing that a lot of people right now don't feel comfortable with that with the things that they're hearing is it actually true or not we're living in a time of of great deception make no mistake about it folks no mistake and and the bible you know the lord warned that in the last days that deception will increase and we're seeing that increase in deception. There's a lot of falsities out there. There's a lot of fal you know, uh, agendas out there, secret agendas. People doing things for their own benefit. There's a lot of um, um, you know, um, folks oper operating for what's best for them. <clears throat> You know, I'm going to tell you folks, <clears throat> we have to be very, very careful because the time that we're living in right now, um, there's, there's so much deception that the only way that you're going to be able to see clearly on what's actually happening out there is by being filled with the word of God. Because the word of God is truth. It says, Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. He is truth. The word is true. There's, that's, and, 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 and like we said, the word um, never changes. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. This is the solid foundation in which we can always look to um, that uh, for, for truth. Right now, there are a lot of code words being put out there. And I want, you know, expect, you know, we who are in the body of Christ to be very aware of some of the language that's being out there to get you to compromise your strong stand on the word of God. These are just some of the words. And I just want to 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 um, throw this out there to you guys because you're going to you're hearing you're already starting to hear these words. More and more and more, you're going to be hearing this stuff. And they're going to use it in a way to make you feel bad 
because of your stance on how you stand with the word of God and that this is your foundation. Have you now, like I said, <clears throat> are hearing words like, we need to be more accepting and embracing. We need to be more accepting. Accepting. We need to embrace various things. Whether they are things that are um, compromising to the word of God. Or should I say, go against the word of God. We need to, we need to um, be more accepting. Here's another word, tolerant. How often are you hearing that? If because you take a, on your belief, these are things that, you know, you're standing on your principles and your belief, which is the right thing to do, but you're intolerant. That's intolerant. Folks, I'm telling you, the enemy is out there very deceptive. The devil will use all kinds of language to get you to bend from what you believe. Here's another one. Open. We need to be more open. We need to be more open-minded. You know? Stop being so closed-minded. Folks, Careful. How about this one? Compromise. We need to compromise. You're not going to get everything that you want. You need to give a little. You need to give a little in order to get some. How often do we hear about that word? Compromise. As I said before, closed minded. Are you closed minded? You're standing on the word of God. So, you know, don't be so closed minded. You gotta open up. <laughs> Stop being so rigid in the way that you think and what you believe. Folks, I'm gonna tell you something. This is the language that you guys are going to be hearing. You're, 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 you're hearing it already. But I'm telling you, this language is going to be, I'll call it, regular language. That's going to be a target to those who are in the body of Christ. Because we have a code of conduct, or should I say a mode that we believe in, which is the word of living God. The word of living God isn't compromising. The word of living God doesn't, um, you know... Uh, it has any gray area. The word of the living God isn't something that's malleable. You know, that it, 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 uh, it's flexible. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He doesn't change. And he expects us as children of God to stand on the truth, which is the solid foundation. Don't get caught up in this talk that, you know, now we're in 2000. We're in the year 2000. This book was written way back when. Folks, I'm telling you, the devil is sneaky. He wants you to bend. He wants you to compromise and turn from the word of God. That whole idea of being flexible and flexibility is a snare. We have to keep our eyes on this, folks. He wants you to bend on what you believe, to turn away from the Lord and turn from the things of the Lord. This is the solid foundation. This is a foundation that will always stand. We can trust in the word of God. We can put our hope in the word. We can put our hope in the Lord. You know, man comes up with his own ideas 
and ways in which we live our life. And in the, in the, in, in, in actually, in the time that we're living in right now, there's a lot of things now that man wants to be his own God. Be careful, folks. Be careful. We need to um, recognize that this is a strategy that the devil's behind. And he's working in the world. And he's trying to get the children of God to bend on their principles. There's nothing wrong if you want to wait um, and not have sex before marriage. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong if you don't want to go out and get drunk every night with friends. There's nothing wrong if you don't want to, um, <clears throat> you know, you're not, you're not, you're not there engaging in gossip and all kinds of stuff, backbiting, talking about people's backs. And you don't want to have, be, have, a, uh, have a part of that. There's nothing wrong. Um, that you're not always walking around angry, bitter, have hatred for, for, your, for your brother or your sister in your heart. Listen, folks, good is being called evil this day and evil good. I got a couple things to just read to you because I can tell you. We're exposing the enemy right now. Um, <clears throat> this is what it says. Interesting, very interesting. Ephesians 5, 6 says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. We want to walk in obedience to the Lord. Obedience. Let me say that one more time. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things, Things come at the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. We want to be walking right with God. Because the wrath of God is coming upon the children of disobedience. 1 Timothy 2.14. Oh, I'm sorry. 2 Timothy 3.13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Wow. But evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Titus 1.10 For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers Especially they of the circumcision. Folks, let me tell you, <clears throat> you have to be very careful. And I'm going to add one, you know, one other thing. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the tools, one of the major tools that the enemy is using against people in the body of Christ right now and, in, and the nation and just people in general. The, the, I'll just call it humanity in general. Guard yourself for the movies that you watch, the videos that, 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 that are out there that are being played, the music that you listen to, and television in general. I'm telling you folks, this is a major weapon of the enemy some of these shows that are out here showing compromising kind of things like oh yeah cheating on your wife that's no big deal everybody's getting divorced um not a big deal you know that's what everybody does it's that the divorce rate is high i mean divorce or should i say marriage is like dating right now <sighs> you don't like that man get rid of him go get another one and it makes it seem like these things are normal if you don't guard your heart, guard your mind, because the attack is on the mind, you can fall prey to some of this starts thinking. You start thinking like, oh yeah, you know, um, it's a programming. You don't even realize you're being programmed. But that's what's happening. So folks, um, just be aware 
that a lot of these things that we normally quote unquote look at or or list that there are there are I'll call it a um a stealth kind of attack that's being done by the enemy, by the devil, to get you to compromise your your I'll call it your way, your lifestyle, in the way that you want to live in accordance to the word of the living God. To get you to compromise that and make it think that the world's way is the best way. And the word of God is should be thrown on the wayside. Guard your heart, folks. Guard your heart. So I love you guys. I hope this message <clears throat> was just, you know, just, again, keeping the radar up. Keeping the radar up. And not get ensnared by the enemy. Share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell. I hope you find this message a blessing to you. I love you guys. And we'll see you in the next video.